Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to uninstall the Game Bar, now called the Xbox Game Bar Overlay. A lot of people who don't have Xbox have no need to have this junk on here. And Microsoft has buried it so that back in the day when you hit start and you came down to, oh stop it, Xbox, you could right click on it more and you could uninstall it, which you can still do with a console companion. But there's a few ways we can do it. This video will be, and the guide will be, right that you see here, will be embedded into the video description. But let's take a look down here. There's a lot of things I've learned about this. You can use PowerShell. You can edit the registry or save each one of these, one, two, as enable, disable. But I read a lot of the comments that people were uninstalling it, then they decide later they want to install it back in and they can't do it. They know that if you run the PowerShell script, there's different ways to do it. There's the Xbox line or the Xbox app line. And then there's uh, DISM. You can add DISM and you can remove them one at a time. Let me tell you something. The whole thing is ridiculous. Get O and O app buster. Okay. Here's a link right here. And while I'm providing this information down here below, there's no good reason to scroll past this. So let's fire up Oh no, App Buster, and you'll see what I mean. This is portable. When you're done, you can delete it or you can save it because sometimes this Xbox stuff comes back after a big update. So it's going to look at everything you have here. All you got to do is scroll down. If you just want to get like the game overlay done, just get rid of the Xbox game bar. But for fun, I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to do this, and you'll understand why I said to do it any other way. I didn't even have a word for it. It's just such a dumb, dumb idea. Here it is. You should have two or so up here. And again, as long as you're up to date, it's called the Xbox Game Bar previously. Even in our screenshots on Major Geeks, it still shows Game Bar. So you're either going to have Game Bar or Xbox Game Bar. Click these two, one, two. Come down here, one, two, three, four, at the time of this video. And you just click Remove. In my case, it's going to warn me shortly that I don't have System Restore on. Uh, it would be a good idea to do that. Click OK. There it is, a little warning that I don't have System Restore on. No big deal for me. And watch how quick this is. There's no errors, there's no problems. In a split second, that's done. Let's go look. Gone. Now, let's discuss the other problem we had. All of a sudden, you decided you got an Xbox. And you want to use this in Windows. We're going to repeat the exact same steps. Here's your two, there's your four. Now we're going to click install. I mean, there's just no other way to do it. I'll pull my hair out when every guide says just to run PowerShell. It'll spit up errors. Everything's right there. It's back. It took every bit as fast as you could do it in PowerShell or in the registry, if not faster. And the nice thing about this is while you're here, let's be honest. Microsoft Pay, Cortana. Let's see what else we got up here. Typical stuff that you may feedback hub. Get help. Groove music, that's hilarious. Anything you don't use, why not clear out some space right now while you're here? Remove. Works exactly the same way. Now we don't have to see that junk anymore. Who knows? Your computer probably run better. I don't see why it wouldn't. Microsoft tips. You can just go down the line. MSN weather. You don't use Office. Paint. Print, Skype. There you go. So why not just clean up while you're here? So go ahead and do the Xbox stuff individually. Make sure you're done. And then come back later and clean up a little bit more. And there you go. That is how you uninstall the Xbox Game Bar in Windows 10 or Game Bar. Or some people like to call it the overlay. And a little icon down here appear. And you click on that. You can subscribe to Major Geeks. We'd appreciate that. And thank you, as always, for watching. See ya.